What's going on you guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another video. So this one's a more of a story time video but an interesting topic. Um, how I got started on YouTube. So I'm picking at my pants here because it's a little bit of anxiety when I talk about this. So I was in college. Uh, it was my freshman year of college. We were living in Dallas or Denton, Texas. Well, technically Aubrey, Texas. Uh, my school was in Denton. Um, I had decided that I wanted to start YouTube because I thought, saw a lot of popular creators. One of my, pop, my most favorite creators was Lord Minion 777 Wade and JPW03JP. Um, so I just had the idea, you know, I want to do this. I want to start my YouTube channel and that's the main idea that got behind it. I started out with my iPhone, like what I have right now. I prefer using the iPhone. I mean, I'm going to improve it as I go go through it, but I like using the iPhone a lot more than using an actual camera because I do all my editing on my phone. But and it is easier on me to do my to do my editing on my phone. But that's how it all started. But it, there was some. I was a little skeptic, and I'll tell you why. So I told my mom, who I thought would be my biggest fan, what I wanted to do. My mom is a, an accountant. My dad is a works at a bank. Well, he did work at a bank. Now he's a work from home job for a bank. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. And they told me, you won't ever do anything. You won't ever measure up to anything. You won't ever get a job. You won't ever do this. You won't ever do that. Stop, Hershey. You're gonna fail. You're gonna. It, 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 you're not gonna ever be anything. It's never gonna work. You'll you'll never have an actual channel. It's just you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Meanwhile, my brother wanted to be a Twitch streamer, and he started streaming on Twitch, and they're so happy for him and providing all the support for him. But for me, it's you're gonna fail. Hershey. And at this point, I was used to it because I was always told I was gonna fail. I was a failure. So at this point, I was very used to it and it was normal for me to be told I was going to fail. So I was also told you'll never find a job in the business industry as an accountant because you'll have this persona, this this, this look on YouTube, you're going to be on YouTube, why would anybody ever hire you? So that's what I thought, why would everybody, anybody ever hire me? But I persevered and decided okay I'm going to do YouTube. So I did. YouTube where you couldn't see my head. It was like my shoulders or my neck down. And I started doing videos that way. Or I do Funko Pop reviews and openings and you'd just see the pots, you wouldn't see me. I never had a tripod, I never had a ring light, I never had anything because I was not allowed. Even though I was working, I was working part-time and full-time. Um, full-time when I started my sophomore year of college. I had part-time, I was working 30 hours a week at an accounting firm as an intern. Um, where my mom worked, but I was never allowed to buy anything with my own money. I could never buy anything. This gaming computer I had, I had to sneak the money out of my bank account so my dad wouldn't get mad at me because he would attack me and come after me and berate me and belittle me. And my ring light that I have now, I bought this when I met my husband, well recently actually. I had a tripod before that. These Funko Pops you see behind me, um, I have those because he supports what I want. I never had this many Funko Pops at home when I lived with my parents. I never had nearly this many many Funko Pops when I lived with my parent, parents. I was berated and belittled and treated just so terribly. And I was just, it was so gut-wrenching to know that nobody supported me in my entire house and my entire family and they still don't support me. And actually they don't know I do this. Uh, they don't support my dog breeding. You know, it's something I love. It's my job. And nobody has ever supported me aside from him. And, you know, I struggled to make friends because of how my dad was. Nobody ever wanted to come over to my house. And my dad made me into a monster. Like a little anxiety, uh, anxiety, depressive teenager child. Um, if you didn't know, I was in foster care. So I was in this depressive state all the time. I lived on depression, it felt like. And I lived on anxiety. The only good thing in my life was Dot. Dot was the only good thing in my life. And then I met Chris. And my parents made me choose between being with him or living at home. And choose between him and them. 
So I made the step, I made the leap and just said, no, I'm not gonna choose y'all, I choose him. Y'all have treated me horribly. I've been in foster care, I've been essayed, I've been abused, I've been a victim and nobody ever, ever took that and actually thought about it or ever believed me or anything. So, but no one ever believed in me with YouTube, so I still did YouTube. I wasn't as active as I am now because I didn't believe in myself, but here when, I guess when we bought this house and a little bit before that, I started believing in myself that I could do it. So here we are today. Um, I have my own house and my YouTube channel is growing. So if you want some advice to take from this video is don't let ever, anybody ever tell you that you can't do anything. You can, you will, so do it. Just do it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't because I lived my life being told that I can't. I lived my life being told I was a failure. So no matter what anybody says, tell them to stick it and do it. Do it for you, don't do it for anybody else. And even though it'll take time, you'll get there. You'll be able to do it, just, it'll take time, just do it. And that's the best advice I ever have for anybody younger than me or older than me that's struggling with this, with struggling with what everybody else thinks. Do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. And if they don't believe in you, there comes a point in time when you cut them off and say, I'm tired of this. Do it without me. So that's the best advice I have for anybody because I've been there and I know it better than a lot of people. So do it. Just do it. And you won't regret it. So that's how I got started on YouTube. It was a very, uh, this is a very heart wrenching, heart, gut wrenching, heart wrenching video for me because it's all really happened and I don't like to think about what's happened in the past. There's, I'm gonna do more story time videos about my past because I feel like it's somebody out there needs it, needs the experience I have and somebody out there to be told you can do it. I think there are people out there that need that because I needed it when I was young. So if you're struggling with it, just do it. Get out there and do it. Whether it's YouTube or makeup or fashion or dog breeding or tattooing, just get out there and do it. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate if you've made it this far. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.